your customers can't find you because you're not online. Get your custom-made auto detailing website today and start making more money. Click the link below to get started. Prince, Beast Mode Detailing. Hey, this is Prince, Team Beast Mode Detailing, Grind Time TV, where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. Listen, this year, don't be a bootleg detailer. Life is about growth. Take advantage of Team Beast Mode Auto Detailing Courses. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be absolutely glorious. We have wet sand, ceramic coating, high-end detailing, marketing, and much, much more. The classes are limited space, so take advantage now. All of next year's classes is right now online. Click the link below and start your career in auto detailing. Prince, be smoke detailing. How's it going? This is Prince be smoke Detailing Grind Time TV where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. Alright man, today, um, number one, I want to say uh, you made it, bro. You made it. You, you're now uh, in 2018. Back to the first quarter, baby. Back to the first quarter. So we coming out here. We are going to kill it this year. Straight murder i'm coming out like like for real i'm coming out guns blazing and you will see i, I don't want to talk about exactly what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do it and you're gonna hear about it bro that's what's gonna happen i'm just gonna do it and you're gonna hear about it so today i want to talk about uh setting your goals for 2018 and one question that someone would ask me is is why is it important to have goals number one it gives you an unseen power an example, an example of this is like when you have money, right? And if you don't have a purpose for this money, then you don't know where it goes. So you end up spending it without knowing, you know, what, what did I spend it on? I don't have anything to show for, it, right? Versus if you have, if you have a place, let's, let's say, uh, um, I got a homie. No, I'm not going to use that example. If you're if you're trying to get a new pressure washer right then you know I need to set aside this amount of money to go just to the pressure washer all right whether it's just going to be tips right so like like if you want a strap budget and you can't uh, every little dime that comes in has to go to a bill has to go to this has to go go to that right it's always best to just use your tips and set them to the side right it, ignore the tips all together right and that's how that's how you want to build a strong account now Reason number two, God respect those with a plan and who are executing them. If you don't have a plan, then you plan to fail. And that's just real talk. It's just real talk. Um, it's one thing to have a goal and not hit and not hit the target than to not have a goal at all, which means you can't hit anything, right? So whatever your goals are this year, right? If you if you want to have like um, if you want to have like like this massive mobile auto detailing machine, this military full of mobile details, then there's going to have to be little things that you have to do along the way in order to get, um, in order to get what you have to get. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> that that's uh, in order to basically it's like this. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but basically it's like this. If you had, I had a party, so that's why this, this backdrop back here had a um, glow in the dark party. It's been crazy, but um, for my twins. But and, and I'm, a, we'll get into it. All right. So, what was I saying? Whatever your goal is, let's assume your goal is to be the biggest mobile detailer um, company in your city, right? How many trucks is it going to take? For you to get that right how much money is it going to take for you to maintain it what kind of hustle what kind of grind do you have to have in order to get like i, I don't know like 10 trucks usually is enough 10 trucks is probably more than enough uh to take over a small city more than enough right really you only need about three three trucks to take over a whole city right 
and then what is going to be your method of advertising, right? And then once you find out exactly what that, you know, it's just in your imagination. So imagine yourself as big as possible, right? Then chop up your 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 goal, right, into little bite size, and then you can start spoon feeding yourself every single day, and eventually you will get there, right? The thing about goals is you gotta have a time limit on it, right? If you don't have a time limit on there, then you'll just you, you'll be lackadaisy about it. Versus that in about you know in, in three months I gotta have this I I gotta have this going, right? And you put responsibility on yourself to become the greatest version of you that you can become, or build the greatest detailing shop that you can possibly build. All right, and there's certain things that you you know there's certain things you gotta have, right? And there's no need of shortcutting yourself. There's no need of um. Of, 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 of like cutting corners trying to get to the goal, right? Because the grind, right? The grind is gonna teach you. There's nowhere, no, no. You're not gonna, you're not gonna sneak around the wall. You're not gonna climb over the wall. You're not gonna dig under the wall. You got to go through the wall, bro. And if you're not going through the wall, then you're not gonna make it, right? So, so along, along your journey, uh, when you're trying to become the number one detail or the biggest uh, mobile detail, whatever your goal is, there's gonna be things, there's gonna be walls that come up in your life to try and stop you, right? But it's not really trying to stop you, it's to show you how great you really are, right? It's to show you how much more um, power that you have inside of you that you can push through this wall, that you can push through these problems, right? So definitely mark your stuff down. And, and ideally, this is what you ideally wanna do. And um, sometimes I forget, sometimes I forget, but I, I do my best to try to remember to write down my goals first thing in the morning and write down my goals first thing at night, right? The reason why you want to do this is because it's, it's psychological. So at nighttime, when you write it down, right, I am the greatest detail in the world. I do this, da 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 I am da 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 So when you go to sleep, your subconscious is still clicking that in the back of your head, right? And really, the power that you have is in your subconscious mind. I ain't going to get into all that right now, but... You want it in your subconscious mind so it's always there, all right? Now, once you go out and start, once you go out, once you wake up the next day, right, the reason why you want to write it down the first thing in the morning is because it's a type of, um, your, uh, imagine your brain as a battery, right? And the whole time you were asleep, it was recharging, right? So when you wake up, the first thing you want to do is write down your goals, all right? That I am the greatest detail in the planet. I am da, da 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 and you write it in present tense. You say I am, not I will be. I am that which I say I am, right? And so as you go on, then you start developing the character. All right. There's a there's a technique of of basically it's it's like this. It's like a uh, you whoever what is whatever you want to be, right? You have to think there's, there's, there's a few major things that you have to have to do in order to uh, make this thing manifest, right? You have to live like the character. You have to be like the character who is in your head, right? So so if, if the guy owns 10 trucks, what kind of books does this guy read? Start reading that. What kind of uh, food does he eat? Start eating that kind of food right now. What kind of television program does he watch? What kind of network events does he go to? What kind of training has this guy has? So you want to definitely go through all that and once you start developing that character, you'll see the world, you'll see your whole your whole uh, reality change. Your whole reality will change, bro. The people around you will say, this dude, he acting all funky, right? <laughs> That's what we say in North Carolina. Dude be acting all funky, right? Because you're not the same person, right? I don't have the same conversations, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hang around the same people, right? Cats be like, yo, Prince, we ain't never, yo, we ain't seen you in the club in like never. I be like, dude, I ain't never seen y'all in the bank, like never, right? I'm trying to get it, bro. I ain't trying. To, look, I ain't trying to. So, like, what are you celebrating for every weekend and you broke? What are you celebrating, right? Now. Uh, I, I'm kind of ranting a little bit. I want to get into the seven types of goals uh, or categories for goals. All right. Uh, and there's seven that I found out. If you know that there's more, definitely put it in the comment below and I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it next time. All right. One is 
but these are the types of goals. Spiritual goals, all right? Spiritually, where you want to be at, right? Spiritually, how far, how deep, how deep is your game or how deep is your relationship with God? That's number one. That's number one, right? Because if you don't have faith that you can become what you, that you, that you can become what you say you want to become, then you won't become it, right? I think it was Nietzsche that said, uh, uh, he said that a man, if a man say he can't do, if a man say he can or can't do it, He's right. He's right. So if you can do it, yeah, you can. But if you can't do it, nah, you can't. Right? So it's totally up to you. Spiritual goals. All right? Um, and, and, and when it comes to spiritual goals, let's, let's break down, right? Meditation, um, communication with God, um, your prayer life, all that stuff has everything to do with it. And I know that some people think meditation is, oh, and all this crazy stuff. And it's, and it's not like that. Uh, meditating this is what I meditate on I meditate on the person who I want to become right I meditate that you know I want I want to be out there um, training other detailing companies right going out to to different parts of the states and different parts of the world to train people to to uh, show them marketing techniques to really get out there like that so that's one thing that I imagine as I meditate and I get and I feel the emotion of it all right, that's one thing. So, with meditation, and meditation definitely helps you, man. Because um, one thing, another thing that I do is I write down my prayers, right? So if I have an agreement with God, now God don't need a contract with me, but it's so I can keep my mind focused, right? And if I keep my mind focused, that this is, I say the same prayer, right, every day until I get, it, right, until I get, it, right. The Bible says, the Bible says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, right? So if you double-minded, one day you want a green truck, the day you want a blue truck, you ain't getting nothing, right? You got to stay on point. This is what I want and I'm going after it, right? I'm going to wake up every single day of my life, the rest of my natural life, getting up and going after it. That's the difference. That's the difference that your prayer life is focused on auto detailing, right? Your spiritual life is focused on auto detailing. When you wake up, that's the only thing. You are living the dream. Living the dream. Basically, you wake up out your sleep and walk in your dream. Mm, that's powerful. All right, so another one is your financial goals, right? Where, do you try, where are you trying to be financially, right? If you say, I want to be a millionaire, well, how much do you have to make a year? How much do you have to make a month? How much do you have to make a day? How much do you have to make an hour? All right? And then you have to break that stuff down, right? Because the thing about the universe is like this. If you don't know, if you don't know, the universe is not going like, 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 like if your math is wrong, the universe is not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? You got to have, basically you send a prayer, I want to be a millionaire, right? You ain't acting like a millionaire. You ain't reading the books that millionaires read. You don't you don't spend your time right. You're not gonna be a millionaire. But if you start doing these things, you will see you'll start attracting the things that come into your life, right? All right. So another one is uh, your health goals. What are you trying to be health wise in 2018? Where are you trying to be in 2018 health wise? What is your what is your weight that you want to be in, right? You want to be the cut dude on the beach, or you want to be like the big fat guy? Whatever you want to be, just be it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Me mentally. This is another one, mentally where you want to be, right? That the things that's in your mind, like you don't just feed your mind garbage, right? You don't feed your mind fast food, stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with your goals and your ideas. Family goals, that's self-explanatory. Um, where do you want to be with your family? You got a baby mama or you got a child that you haven't seen in a long time, right? You need to go ahead and correct that, right? It doesn't matter. Um, what the person might think about you or what they say about you. The thing is you have to correct You have to correct the wrong that, you, that you've done so this joint don't come back and get you All right now uh, your career goals where you're trying to go in your mobile detailing business um, Your social goals, okay, who do you want to be your friends? This is a very important one. Who do you want to be your friends, right? You don't let anybody just walk up in your life and they say I'm your buddy. I'm your friend. Maybe not I know you, but you ain't my friend. Because all my friends is about being people. All my friends is about lying. 
All my friends is about the struggle, baby, the hustle. Right? All my friends got hustle muscle, baby. That's all we work out on right now. <laughs> so that's something that you want to uh, do, you know, get, um, develop your social network, right? That you're around people. Like, like for instance, my friends, like I got a friend that owns a tow truck company. I got a friend that owns um, a, 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 a body shop. I got a friend that owns a mechanic shop. These are my allies, bro. These are people I go to war with, right? Because I know that when I went across that car, that has, let's say, I'm trying to sell it, but I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, cool, I can take it to my man, my man shop over here, and then he can figure it out, and then we'll come up with a price, and my man break me off bread for that, bro. That's love right there. And he'll do the same, and I do the same for him. So when somebody come to his shop, like this is your ally, somebody come to his shop and say, listen, you know anybody that can do a good detail? Yo, my man detailing beast will take care of this, bro. He, and I get the detail, and I break him off a little something, right? And that's how it works. All right, so um, you got your long-term goals, you got your short-term goals, all right? Your long-term goal is basically the ultimate reality that you want to see, all right? Your short-term goals is the little steps that you're going to take to get there. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, end this video. Um, this, is probably, this will probably be my second video of the year, but... It was a joke, but it's so serious, right? When it comes to long-term and short-term goals, because your goal, you want your goals to be so big and so crazy, right? Like, like if you don't need God help to get to your goal, then your goal ain't big enough. The goal ain't big enough. You have to have the goal so big that it's, it, it got to take God to help you in order to get there, right? Anyway, it was a joke that this guy said. He said that um, he said, "How do you eat an elephant?" Right? And the answer was one bite at a time. So every single day when you wake up, you go out and you get You go out and you hunt. You go out and you just destroy it. Every single day. Doesn't matter if my car broke down. Doesn't matter what's going on in my life. Every single day, I'm getting up and I'm going out. Every single day. Listen, I hope I said something to bless you. Till next time, grind time. Prince, be smoky. Hey, this is Prince. Team B Smoke Detailing, Grind Time TV, where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. Listen, this year, don't be a bootleg detailer. Life is about growth. Take advantage of Team B Smoke Auto Detailing Courses. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be absolutely glorious. We have wet sand. Ceramic coating, high-end detailing, marketing, and much, much more. The classes are limited space, so take advantage now. All of next year's classes is right now online. Click the link below and start your career in auto detailing. Prince, be smoke detailing.